The chairperson with CSCBS Cross Border Traders has appealed to the farmers and stakeholders to join hands to ensure high quality of cereals to outcompete international markets. She stated that this will reduce on the burning that is sometimes imposed on the Uganda produce by foreign countries due to poor hygiene. There is poor handling of produce, especially by the farmers during harvest and traders during selling and storage because the, the, the structures are poorly constructed and there is poor storage. We have another challenge of high and multiple taxes. We have the local taxes, we have those other taxes, offloading taxes, which makes our profits very low. We have a challenge of afrotoxins, whereby you remember our food was banned from Kenya because of afrotoxins. That's also a challenge. Dominic Maloba, the trader's license officer, said the cereal produce is one of the major businesses at the Busia border and the challenges still call for intervention by the relevant authorities. So, me, besides support and engagement, we are never going to all those opportunities, Uganda, East Africa, profile of website and so on. from other sources, studies of politics is So meeting. I'm very sure in the next couple of years we are going to have a changed Busia district in terms of business. Nikesa Barbara Owondo, the National Resistance Movement in our party treasurer, advised the traders to utilize the money that comes under the government programs like Emioga and the parish development model to help them boost their businesses. She warned the traders and residents to resist from rushing in for loans that have high interest but to adopt internal savings as the only way of fighting poverty. On saving, internal savings. Save your money, that is what will turn into sustainable capital. We should be very careful. Save, save internally for sustainable capital, but just to plow back into your business. Okumu Simo, the Busia District Community Development Office, voiced that they are playing a big role of ensuring that traders' groups get money for development. As associations, we nurture them, we support them, as my sister Zipora said, to the level when now we make them, support them to be cooperatives as you see them right now. And we shall continue supporting them. Because that is our mandate as public officers in the office. We are supposed to make those things happen. So, as Dominic said, we are in the office, we are commercial. Still, we look forward for an opportunity to The Busia District Commercial Officer asked the traders to use her office to benefit on the government's projects. And Yoga. One of the government programs has done a lot for our people in Busia, especially for the youth and the women. Honorable, I want to say this. Likely, the first industry in Busia is going to be that that was begun by the youth. The youth of Samia Kugwe North and Yoga got their money. They pulled their small resources together 